what's going on YouTube welcome back to another edition of Project Escalade today I'm going to be changing the rear brakes on my 07 Cadillac Escalade aka Big Bertha I'm going to be using the emergency jack which is located in the rear of the vehicle right below the cup holders where the third row seats would go this is the first time changing the rear brakes using the Escalade tire jack and it took me a little while to locate where it was and once I found where it was it took me another minute to figure out how to get this tire jack released so you're going to turn that yellow piece counterclockwise to release the jack now before we lift the vehicle we're first going to start off by loosening the lug nuts we don't want to take the lug nuts all the way off we just want to get them loose and if they're really stuck on there you can use this method here just use your weight to get these things loose sometimes they're really stuck on there so you got to do it this way and the reason you want to loosen the lug nuts before you lift the vehicle is you don't want the vehicle moving around and have the potential of the jack falling out from under the vehicle all right so once we got those all loosened up the first thing you're going to want to do is jack the truck up there's going to be a jack pad on either side of the rear axle of whatever side of the vehicle you're lifting so that's where your jack is going to actually sit on and make sure you don't really have too much movement so let's get this big escalate lifted and now with the loosened bolts we're just going to get those right out so what you're going to want to do is once you take that tire off put it under the frame what that's going to do is just give you a little bit of extra safety in case the jack slips the vehicle doesn't fall all the way down it just falls on that wheel so there's going to be two bolts on the caliper one bolt on the top and one bolt in the bottom so if you're going to be replacing or resurfacing the disc brake you're going to want to take off the second bracket which actually has two more bolts to it but first let's take off the caliper so this rotor was completely shot there's no way I'm going to be able to resurface this rotor so I'm replacing it with a brand new one. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can find everything you need to change your brakes on sale right now from Amazon. So I put the caliper out the way on a bungee just so it doesn't put any stress on that brake line. So we have two more bolts to remove to take off the bracket and replace the rotor. There's one bolt here on top and one bolt on the bottom. Fairly simple. Take this bracket off and get the new rotor replaced. We're going to take off the old brake pads. These are pretty shot. The rotor just comes right out. Just going to give it a once over with the wire brush just to get any excess debris off of there. Put the new rotor in. Okay, so there is gonna be a tool to reset the brake, but I don't have that tool. I will leave a link in the description for it, but what I'm gonna be using here is a vise and a piece of scrap wood. And all you're gonna do is tighten that vise to the brake resets. So from here what you're going to want to do is put grease on every piece of contact points. So everything that touches you're going to want to put grease on. Now we're going to install the new brake pads. There is a right and a wrong way to put these so just make sure that your stop sensor goes on the back and everything should line up. Let's get these bolts back on. Same way you took them off. Now all that's left is to get the tire back on. Now we hand tighten the lug nuts. You don't want to go too tight just yet because we still have the jack on the frame. Now we let the jack down and we really tighten the lug nuts. 